Hi, I'm Angela. I'll be interviewing Sherry Daly. Sherry Daly is a Toronto artist. She's an abstract artist. She has it's really, really beautiful work with great big beautiful brush strokes and um, color and um, that evokes a huge amount of feeling and energy. Um, I'm really excited to be chatting uh, with Sherry again. I'll just wait for her to join. Uh, Sherry's one of a hundred artists. Oh, there she is. I'm just going to see if I can get her to join. There we go. Sherry should be joining us any minute. Um, Sherry's one of a hundred artists in the Riverdale Art Walk um, that goes live this weekend. Hi, Sherry. I off my head. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Sorry, I think I had an internet letdown there. I'm oh. good. How are you? I'm good too. So sorry we're delayed. Our first artist was uh, had a big big glitch, so I'm just about ten minutes behind here. But That's I'm fine. excited to chat with you and uh, learn a little bit more about your art practice. Your looks like you're set up in your studio there. I'm in my um, yeah my garage at the cottage. So um, oh, your cottage I did put <laughs> my up north Muskoka studio. Um, I'm actually starting to build a studio up here probably oh. next week, but. This is good for now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, were you able to find lumber to do that? <laughs> well, I have actually the guy that's building it has a wood lot, so that oh, awesome. kind of helps. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that sounds great. Um, I guess you're you're really fortunate to be able to spend that time up at the cottage. And, I sure um, am, yeah. Maybe you want to just jump in and tell us a little bit about your art practice and what you've been up to lately. Um, well, I think I sent out an email to my people on my mailing list the other day and I said I had a confession to make that I've actually not been doing a lot of art because I was um, doing a, a project in my neighborhood um, related to the environment and we just launched last week the Toronto Nature Stewards pilot project. So, Oh wow, uh, what's, that, what's that about? Um, well, it's about removing invasive plants in parks and ravines um, because the city doesn't have enough staff to do it all so right. it's, we're recruiting volunteers and training and, and getting out there and doing that even though I'm at the cottage I've been involved with setting that up so it's um, kind of eaten into my art time. Right. Uh, what I have done though is I, I joined Louise Fletcher's online class last week and the week oh, before wow. to yeah. try and f get myself kick started. Um, her class is called Find Your Joy quite a lot of artists I know did it and um, she just talks about finding out what you enjoy about painting and not worrying about the outcome right mm -hmm. um, and she gives you little exercises to get you started and and I've always found that helpful for me so um, I was working on some of them today and it's amazing how prolific you can be in a short period of time. <laughs> Well, let's so, show us what you've been doing today. <laughs> uh, well, this one was last week, but it was uh, in half an hour. You're supposed to use limited number of colors. Right. Tape off the um, the grid, and then treat it like one whole painting. I think right. I cheated a bit, and I actually did treat them as separate paintings, but right. all with similar colors. Um, and now I I really quite like them. <laughs> so I'm thinking of cutting them up and and framing them. Oh, um, oh, they're lovely. I love the color palette you, you chose. Yeah, and I think underneath it is um, a big painting. I seem to have a lot of green and yellow and blue going on, and last year I found that too. I think it's partly just looking out the window at the cottage, at the trees and the water mm -hmm. and the sky, and uh, somehow that puts itself into my, my work. I'm mostly an abstract painter, but um, somehow spending a lot of time out in nature and observing seems to translate into the work. Um, I don't know if you can see, yeah. yes. I find so, that, that that makes sense with this time of year as well. I found the same kind of color palette coming up in my work, so mm -hmm. I think it's the time of the year. Well, it's kind of a here? pretty palette anyway, but this was another set of exercises I did on my own um, before the course. And then often what I do is try and translate that into a larger piece. So. Um, this was another one also in the same color that I had a painting in the cottage that I didn't really like and so when I had if I have paint on my brush or paint on my palette I just kind of use it and um, 
I think I used some parchment paper stamping. I didn't really care what I was doing. I used a squeegee and so it's very I didn't really think it was finished because it it doesn't really have a focal point, but the colors are very appealing and mm -hmm. it works in the room that I've got hanging in at the cottage. Um, another playful thing I did lately, usually it takes me an hour or two to get in the groove of painting and um, mm -hmm. and then I start having fun and then I play around and so this was one that again an old painting at the cottage that I didn't like anymore and um, I started oh, stamping yeah. with actual beech leaves and some of them are now glued on here. Um, oh, wow, so it's a very layered piece like you like you, well, there's, you pull yeah, there's a piece and there's a ahead. painting underneath that right and then on top is some stamping and I'm not sure it's a little bit too dark so I'm not sure where it's going after this so it's just sitting here waiting for sometimes I get bored or I don't know what to do next so I move on to something else um, do you want well, I, I, I don't know how to oh, flip the camera maybe well, if you flip the camera, you just there's um, little arrows going around in a circle. You just click on that, and it'll flip around if, if that's what you'd prefer to do to chat. Um, oh, there um, it is. But your process of um, being like intuitive work and gestural and stuff, I, I see that in a lot of your um, work. Yeah. And, so this uh, was today, just because you're asking what was today. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so a lot of like mark making. That's where you mm -hmm. start your process mm -hmm. and kind of get exactly inspired. And this is uh, where you're working or some of your other pieces so you're working These are on? some of the pieces that I've tried to translate from the smaller ones to bigger. Mm -hmm. So this one I just was trying to use some um, writing on the back. And then it's supposed to have another big section of pink on top, but I haven't got there yet. Um, and just as part of uh, Louise, this was another one that I've sort of started. So I'm working mostly on wooden panels. Um, right. And I don't know if you can see this one, but again, when I've got sort of paint left on my palette, sometimes I just start yeah. a new painting. And I started liking that I could make circles, so that's where that is so far. So yesterday right. was the ugly painting challenge, so that's my ugly painting from yesterday. Oh, I love some of the colors. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And then you no, go, well, is ugly. it really is it really ugly or is it no. just not my usual style? But anyway, so ugly yeah, it's just like it's in process. So ugly be before it becomes finally beautiful. But I think ugly is sort of a process a lot of us go through as artists. Right. And it seems like that's right. what you've been um, working through this intuitive, elective sort of um, uh, work at, like that you kind of set it aside and maybe reflect on it and then maybe add mm -hmm. to it and layer. I think that that's um, very typical of a lot of artists that I've been talking to lately, especially during this time. I think people have been playing a lot, um, mm -hmm. um, trying new techniques and reflecting a lot and going back to pieces. I've heard this over and over, going back to pieces that have been, like you said, like sitting around and you're just adding new elements to it. Um, so I think that's awesome. Um, they kind I of think like that might have been energy. also also because we couldn't necessarily get new new panels right <laughs> you had to wait for supplies um so yeah i, hear I actually wait, there's a wait list yeah <laughs> i just have one piece here that's in the show actually so here it is um oh it's lovely this one's called to the heart of it and again there used to be a figure underneath and um while i was doing a a series of um Maybe I can go closer. I was doing a series in the spring that was kind of spring green as a couple of the paintings that ended up being painted. And uh, I was using these colors, the red and the, the green. So, and somehow, I so usually just use... So an energy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I really liked some of what was under there before, which had the turquoise, some purple, some some peach and uh, red actually it was a, a figure so um, they are coming through still I didn't want to get rid of them all and right. this is it's a something little bit hard to see the figure on the camera like yeah no you, there's can, you can't really can see the figure is the figure has been obliterated she's obliterated 
but I know she's back there. All right. <laughs> so I just <laughs> wanted. Story. This is one of my more things I did at my previous cottage. So just um, again, I don't normally do that sort of style now, but uh, right. I actually put myself out in a paddle boat and sat and painted because I have a hard time painting from photos. So um, that was. <laughs> I don't normally do you paint. Do a lot of plein air painting. I don't normally do a lot of it. Um, right. I used to find it just uncomfortable sitting on rocks and having bugs, and you'd end up being right. too hot. And so, no, I, I don't. But I have been known to try it. <laughs> but that was so, the only um, time. So, of all the pieces you showed to us, they're more like works in progress. And then that one piece is one of the pieces that you have in yeah. the Riverdale Art Walk show. Yes. Yeah. Most That's of the other ones are just works in progress exactly yeah and sherry um the other pieces that you have um in the riverdale art walk show you're part of the tent tour as well right you're are you coming uh no, no 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 because i'm time? because i'm up north i didn't decide to do it i i would like to in august or september when i'm back in the city right. um so no i'm not participating in that i've said if people want to visit me at my cottage they could do that but most of my work is actually in Toronto I will be back in town for a couple of days next week um, okay. and I said uh, I I think through a, a Ventany you can also do zoom calls um, I could do a zoom walk around with anybody if they want to take a look that way um, I often have yeah. a lot of s small work that isn't on my website and isn't even in the show that I can also show um, right. Yeah. yeah, so that's that's a really good idea. Um, for those who don't know, you can actually kind of like create Zoom meetings with people through Eventony and mm -hmm. then they can kind of share their work that way. Or I'm sure people reach out to you and if you're in town, they could maybe do like a porch site visit. Like you could like kind of present it outside and they could kind of take a look and see some of your work live. Because it's yeah. always great to be able to see the work. You see it a little bit better um, uh, in person, I think. But yeah. um, we can also find a lot of your work um in the show online so yes i'm going to, to probably put quite a few in i was at your yeah i was um at your recent leslie grove gallery show and you had a lot of um really large pieces with big gestures there's one with like the like a, some of the pink and oranges or whatever i think that's quite striking and and bold so i don't know if mm -hmm. you're going to put those in the show but they're beautiful some of those are in the show because they're still relatively recent and um, right. and they form a bit of a series and most of them are 24 by 24 up to 36 by 36. A lot were in squares. Um, I also have sort of four really large pieces that I put in the show that I think, um, and I've included photos of rooms that they're, you know, they could be hung in to help people visualize what they would look like. and. They can really be statement pieces, so I'm trying to put those in. And then on the other hand, I've got some uh, small um, still life of pears that are 12 by 12. And I have, I think, about five small panels as well that are 12 by 12. So I've got a bit of a range of, of things so that people who, you know, oh, so just want to try something small. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it's sometimes a good entry point, right? And I, I think that, you know, you can always find a piece, a uh, place in your space for a small piece that you love. Like you might love an artist um, and love their work, um, but maybe you can't really afford the large piece yeah. right now or you don't have the space for that right now or you're still thinking that through. But a small piece you can tuck anywhere. You can tuck them on bookshelves, on small walls, corners, um, above doorways. I've seen people mm -hmm. hanging down in bathrooms is a great space, <laughs> right? I, I have a, a time there. <laughs> Because I have some pieces that I do on paper, I also have um, framed and matted some. Um, and I, they're often in little series. Uh, one of my neighbors bought one of the series of three, so there's still others like that. And, and they, they can be had fairly inexpensively. Um, but one thing I've started doing is using the non-glare glass. Um, another artist friend, David Johns, uses it and uh, his work just looks amazing it looks like you're not looking through glass so it adds a little bit to the price but it 
it seems to make it a difference. Yeah, it makes a big difference. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I'll look forward to seeing some of those. Um, I'll check out. So for those, um, what's the best way to connect with you? Is it through Instagram or on your website? or what's the um, best Yeah, for either. Probably my website does have a shop on it also and a, a way to sign up for email. So that's always good. But uh, I can be reached through any of those platforms. And what's your website, Sherry? Uh, sorry, it's just my name, SherryDaily.com. Oh, awesome. And then, of okay. course, um, you can connect with Sherry through the Events Me platform through our Riverdale Art Walk show. Um, you can check out all her work there that she has profiled. And uh, we're excited to um, see what's next, Sherry, with some of these, uh, some of the new uh, work. And yeah, that you're so am I. <laughs> it's always a surprise. <laughs> All right, well, uh, anyway. thanks so much. It was All great chatting with you today, and uh, good luck with the show. We'll hopefully see you thank soon. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. All right. Bye, Bye, Angela. Bye. Have a good day.